welcome back to our show once again my name is mrs augustina Ayamu, and uh help me welcome my friend mrs glory, glory as a man welcome welcome back to our show all right once again we have a great topic and uh you know we live in diaspora so they said when you live in rome you do as the romans do so that's the saying in america that goes like this ask not what america will do for you but what you will do for america so we'll borrow those words and then we'll turn it to nigerians and say ask not what nigeria can do for you but what can you do for nigeria all right so it brings us to our topic because we hear about national cake and national cake and national cake all the time and even when people work in the office they're like all right give me part of the national cake so what are we doing in nigeria are we trying to take everything away from nigeria or are we trying to bring things into nigeria so that's why my friend and i were here today to give a little insight because we've heard about so many things that are going on in the offices i know we're blaming the government all the time but when you look at it if we as citizens of nigeria start changing a lot of things that we do in government offices even when the, the president or even the vice president are not there you could see that there will be a lot of changes. Even the changes that we're looking for, we will see that uh, it will happen in Nigeria mm -hmm. if we change certain ways. So let's give a little insight because we had about the kickbacks, we had about the bonuses, we had about allocation of lands, we had about contracts mm. that are given to people. So my, I will ask my friends some questions and then she will give us some advice and a little insight on things that she knows. <laughs> Those that are uh, things that are going on in terms of the national cake. So my dear friend, I mean, I know even when I grew up in Nigeria, I've always heard about national cake and national cake and national cake. So what is this national cake that everybody is trying to grab as much as they can in Nigeria? What is it? Um, I really can now tell you that this is the wrong usage when you're dealing with a country that uh, we are, you know, we are having children, mm -hmm. uh, there are marriages, and people come to power, people leave power, and the country keep on going. That will, that's a very wrong usage of word mm -hmm. because we cannot see Nigeria uh, as a cake mm -hmm. because uh, that's where we, that's why I think most people do what they do. When they get in power, mm -hmm. they will share the land. Instead of using the land to build something, mm -hmm. either factory or industry or low-cost houses, mm -hmm. so they will just like government government workers, oh, we're getting the land, we're getting the land, everybody's running. Even they might turn around and they will sell the land. Mm -hmm. it, it become individual land instead of the government land that they will use to build something mm -hmm. for to, uh, you know tomorrow's leaders or do expansion you know so mm -hmm. that when they expand the offices there will be more people employed mm -hmm. into that department so that's a wrong usage of word and as nigerians i think we need to stop calling the whole country a cake mm -hmm. nigeria cannot be a cake then everybody has to grab by then we finish the resources mm -hmm. and then we go in people's pocket or stomach as they have it because when you get cake you have to eat it and I uh, believe that's why some people with, uh, excuse my expression, you know, shallow mentality. Mm -hmm. When they go, they take the money, they share the money, they take the money, they share the money. That's all they're looking for, where they can go and get the money. Oh, I'm not going to touch my salary. Whose salary do you want to touch? Exactly. The so local that's... government money? Mm -hmm. Retirees money? Mm -hmm. Whose money are you going to touch? Oh, I never touch my salary. But you're traveling to London, you're traveling everywhere, you're going on vacation, on somebody else's money. That's the money to expand. Mm -hmm. That's the money to build factories. So I think uh, we have made that mistake for a long time. Mm -hmm. And right now, this is the right time because this is a new government going in. Exactly. This is the right time for them to, you know, find another better world which you can help us. What can we use in place of our national care? Okay. Well, I would say work in Nigerians' interests because, I mean, from what you just said, it looks like uh, when people are working in the office, they're not working for the interests of the government mm. or for the people. Because it's cake. So they're just, it's almost like a selfish desire. What they want is just like instant gratification. Oh, they yes. just want to take that money. Because actually, mm -hmm. I've had stories of people that are working in offices 
and uh, they don't touch their salary. Okay. And then I asked them, I said, when you say you don't touch your salary, what do you live on? They said they have bonuses. Mm. Then I asked them, what does bonus mean? Mm. Is it merited or merited? They said, no. When in the offices, the madam will bring money from the government and then we will share this person, will get this and this person will get this. Yes, said, Christmas bonuses or it's, what? No, it's not Christmas. It's almost like a, this is sometimes weekly or something. They will bring money and then ah, they will share. And then I went like this. I said, ouch, why would you share that money? That? I said, whose money is that? She said, well, the government give all of the Oh, there is. Exactly. Then I'm asking, you know, my point is this. Actually, that's why I made a statement about um, what you can do for your country. Because as much as we're blaming the government, if you're working in an office and they are giving you money that does not belong to you, you as a citizen of Nigeria, if you really want Nigeria to change, mm. you should not accept that. Because when you accept that, what you're doing is that you are reinforcing the bad behavior. So I think we, are, we have to learn to stop cheating ourselves because if we all stand up and say, no, this is bad, this is injustice, this is bribery, this is corruption, even if it is happening in your office, without you thinking of what you would just benefit at that time, things will change in our country. Because I know we point hands at the government and everywhere, but at the same time, let's look into ourselves. If this is, if we start denouncing things Evil. from a local level mm. in the offices, things will change. But we can't just accept things and then all of a sudden, oh, my friend, let me tell you, you know what they do? Mm -mm. When they get all those money, I mean, they take uh, whatever bonuses and everything that they're getting, mm -hmm. they use it to send their children overseas. Oh. And then, guess what? What? And then there, some of them will use it to build like big houses, and like you said, they will take lands, and then they will share the lands and everything, and then big, build houses, and then send the kids away. When they retire, mm -hmm. or when they're older, mm -hmm. then they tell the kids to come back and, and take over the, maybe the, the house, estate and everything. <laughs> and then every, sometimes they will get annoyed and they say, oh, you know what, I did this for this, I did this for my sons and my daughters, and they refuse to return to Nigeria. But let me ask you this. If you take money that doesn't belong to you, and then you use it, and these kids, they know, mm. because those are not your money. Mm. And then these are poor people's money. So you create such a hostile environment because you have a lot of poor people in Nigeria. And then you want your children to come back and come and leave where you have created such a hostile environment for them. You think the kids are foolish? So I think it's time for us to start thinking. If we really want our children to come back, that means we have to lay good foundation for them. And then we have to make sure that they have peace in Nigeria. Because when you leave the poor people roaming around the street and you carry their money and you divide it in the office and you run around and you send it overseas, and then expect your children to come and live among the people that you have exploited. That means you're creating a dangerous zone for your children too. So let's stop calling it, uh, what is it, um, national, like national cake. cake. Mm -hmm. I think we should start calling it national legacy. Let's leave good legacy in Nigeria. Not just eat it like cake. That's not good. That's my mm -hmm. like point, my, my Ah, friend. you said so much. Uh, Another thing, uh, most of the time, those uh, rich people or those that get money by any means, mm -hmm. then they get so much mad, like a three, four, you watch, watch my son's car, do this, do that. This son never learned any skills. Mm -hmm. no, they didn't want to come back because maybe, you know, sometimes it's for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't want to come back because they don't have the means of coming back because when you are not in Nigeria, you got to work hard That's for right. you to make a living. If you sit in there, your mom keep on, or your dad keep on sending money to you, mm -hmm. and then you don't want to go to school here because you got it all mad. Exactly. They bought exactly. car for mm -hmm. you, they do they did everything. When they retire, that money is not coming forth. Now you see yourself like a fish out of the sea. That's true. You don't know what to do. You didn't go to school. You never walked before. Everything was handed over to you. Now they want you to come home. With what? You can't walk down there That's because true. you don't have no means of going on. That's and they don't have this money to send back to you again because you have been here for a long time. So it's a two-way traffic mm -hmm. because whatever you sow, that you shall reap. You cannot displace somebody else's child at home, use the money that belongs to somebody else, maybe to children at school, maybe to give children scholarship mm -hmm. or free education. You use it. And now you want your own child to come here and study exactly. and come home as what? Well. It you. doesn't go like that. It's a boomerang. Because what goes around, 
Comes comes around. Around. Exactly. That's the way I look at it. That's and then when it comes to national cake, mm -hmm. we all have to work. As you started it, we have to start thinking about what can we do. You, the that in the office, if that office don't have a chair when you get there, mm -hmm. buy chairs. If the office don't have computer and you're there, you know there is money. Stop sharing it among people that are getting salaries. Exactly. Buy a computer. Do something. To change the environment where you are. You don't sit there, people are sweating in the office, there's no file, there's no file cab cabinet, there is no computer, nothing. If everybody's supposed to have computer, you have to send them to job training. You have to send people to workshops. Yeah, workshop. workshop exactly. Do something to better the environment because once they, your office got better, other people can learn from it. And then you'll be proud even when you retire, mm -hmm. you will look back and say, yes, during my time, I was able to do X, Y, Z, not able to travel to America or to go to London or to do any other thing. That don't count. Nobody will notice you for that. We want to see what did you do to change the environment where you are? What did you do to make people have some skills so that when they leave your office, if they go somewhere else to become a boss, they can follow your footsteps. This is what Nigeria is supposed to be. And by then we bring growth. Mm -hmm. Not to eat the one, not to take poor people's land, not to take the land that the government is supposed to have used to build our factories and industries. And you share it among yourselves. And then you think that's how to be a leader. Uh, Oga, I better go. Think twice. Know that the, the young shall grow. There are people that will come after you. Mm -hmm. And they have to see somewhere to do, you know, mm. to do the work. Exactly. Don't sell everything, don't share everything, don't give people everything. And remember, Nigeria is a nation, not a okay. piece of cake. Exactly, right? exactly. You mm -hmm. know, thank you so much, and uh, I, like, I know you addressed our guys. And then I'm going to address the madams, because we're all moms, and actually we're mothers against injustice in our country. So, as much as our children are in diaspora, and they're doing well here, but I, for, even for me to go to bed, and lie down thinking that other people's children are suffering. Mm. It breaks my heart. So That's right. when I think about, let's say you're a woman and you're in the office and they're sharing these things, it is, a, it is your point of duty mm -hmm. to tell them this is not good. We have kids that are outside, they're looking for jobs. I mean, you're a mother. So as much as you want your children to do well, those mothers in the villages that their children are roaming the streets, they want their children to do well too. Mm -hmm. So think as a mother, we all carry children for nine months. So as much as yours is precious to you, theirs are precious to them too. So speak up, tell, denounce evil, denounce corruption, denounce bribery, so that other people's children can succeed too. And when sure. other people's children succeed, there will be peace in the land. Mm -hmm. Your children will have peace. Your grandchildren will have peace later in life when you're gone. And so, then you don't have to build that uh, gate. Exactly. That is taller than your fine building. Exactly. So because by then everybody will have uh, money to get what they want. Now when you see a poor person walking, you think they're there to rob you. And then your beautiful house, you cover it, mm -hmm. so nobody will see it exactly. again but you. Exactly. You live in jail in your own house. You come out, you run in the car, you come back out, you run in. You got security, mm -hmm. you don't have a private life. You don't have your own life because you're running from yourself, not from nobody. Mm -hmm. Because you know what you do is after you. That's why you're running. Please, exactly. have a peace of mind. Mm -hmm. Live in peace with everybody and try to take what belongs to you, not what belongs to your neighbor. That's true, that's true. And I mean, thank you so much for watching us. Yes, uh, yes, so yes. So that's our yes. episode today. We have other areas that we'll touch later, but I, I think we have spoken at length today. So um, right. our point is this, please, as much as we're blaming our government, we the citizens, we are the government. So if we start changing, our government will only change. So when you see something wrong, actually, actually, now it brings me back to diaspora. There's another saying that they, that goes around. They said, if you see something bad, do something say about something it and about say something it. about it. Yes. So if you see something that is going wrong in your office, don't be part of it. Denounce it. And we, we, when we start denouncing bad things that are been happening in the offices and everywhere in Nigeria, 
one by one, with time, things will get better in our country. Right. But if we close our eyes and just be selfish and say, give me, give me, give me, we will continue to destroy Nigeria. So Nigeria belongs to all of us. So let's do our best mm -hmm. to make it let's right. Let's work together. God bless you for watching us today. That's right. Looking forward to our next episode next yes. week. Yes, thank you God so very you. much. And as I said, I always say, subscribe if you have not. Tell a friend because we are mothers against injustice. So continue to do a good job. Text us, email us, give us your comment. We appreciate each and every one of you because you are encouraging us. Every time you send and make a comment, you are encouraging us. Thank you. And remember we said, think about what you have to do for Nigeria, not what Nigeria will do for you. God bless you. And look out for our next episode. Thank you.